guys, David here. I've, uh, I appreciate the gentle nudges that I've gotten to show the, the golden twin here. And I'd like to give a little bit of background on it and as well as some of the details I'm building it before I share the STL files. Thanks to those who have shown interest and give me those gentle nudges. So the Golden Twin was inspired by YouTuber Golden Val, who has a similar design um, with the twin motors and the twin booms and a, more of a, a lifting body. I decided to put together a, uh, something that could be cut easily out of mm, one and a half pieces of foam board. Um, this is the foam board from Flight Test. It is the waxy paper. I think it's four millimeters thick instead of the standard five millimeter thick. But I'm pretty happy with it because it's waterproof. I've built others using the normal white foam and it does soak in a little bit of water and can warp over time. But that can be reduced by using covering with tape or carbon fiber rods in critical places. A little bit of background on this. Um, the, the pieces in the STL files that are pretty important, I think, um, you know, to make it easy is the motor mounts. And if you download the STL files, you will see that there's several different versions and that's simply to get the whole pattern for the motor that you select. And I'm recommending a pretty high KV motor, something to run on a two or a three cell, preferably a three cell. And it would be something for like a quadcopter, uh, a five inch quad. So I'm, t I'm using uh, 2300 KV motors and these are my old 1806 motors. Um, they are designed to slide over the, the boom and then simply zip tie snug in. There's no glue. You don't have to do glue. Um, part of the trick in building this is this piece is folded over. And when you fold it over, put in a popsicle stick or something in there. And that's what gets drilled and the hole passes through the popsicle stick. And so it's not just foam holding on these motor mounts. I've got a popsicle stick that goes pro back probably about right here and then it's simply zip tied and also helps to for wire management more detailed view of of what that might look like you've got you access the the bolt holes from the inside as well as the sides and then you got the zip tie holes here in the sides the other parts that are 3d printed are you got the control horns you can use any control horns you like i i like these because it gives a little bit of it gives a peg into the foam as well as a little bit, little bit of glue surface to attach to the surface of the foam. And then the other important part of this, I like to do FPV with landing gear. It's just fun. And so this is the tricycle landing gear. You can also make this in a tail dragger format and you just put a zip tie or a little bit of tape over the edges here. This is a, a clipped zip tie and then I bend it and and glue it to the part that touches the ground. Where you mount the landing gear, you use uh, barbecue skewers or carbon fiber just to spread that, the pressure of landing across the foam. Now I've hit the curb a few times, so I've got a little bit of dings. So this landing gear, I'll put a link down below. You get it on Amazon. It's for a Cessna 182, I believe. Uh, and it's perfect for this plane. It comes with the wheels, the hardware, and the nose wheel. The STL files also include a set mount, but there's a set mount that works with the landing gear. And so to access the set, there's a little hole right here in this corner of the nose that I can put a, a Phillips screwdriver in to adjust and make the front wheel straight, but it's set, it's locked in. And the way I steer this thing on the ground, and it steers great in the grass on a hard surface, it's a little bit more tricky to handle, but use the motor differential. Um, and you, you're you gonna have to set that up into the radio so that when you give your yaw input, it adds power to the different motor to, to turn. And that you can use that in flight as well, but it's mostly for handling on the ground. So I'm using the motors to, to steer it on the ground. My next one I do, I'll put, probably put a little bit of carbon in the under on the bottom side 
just in underneath this spar. It's not needed, but if you want to reduce the flex, and you can do that. It does have flex in it, I don't mind, because it's such a large lifting body. I'll also share the camera mount that I've got. Um, it works great with the Nebula Pro or the 19.5, 19mm cam wide cameras. I also have, I'll share the STL files for mounting with a Vista or the run cam link. So, and of course the servo set in, there's places for the servos to, they're drawn to go in. They just set in and you put your links back. So I, I use separate channels on all of the servos and then I mix it accordingly. That way I can do air brakes on the ground. When I land, I can flip a switch and all the surfaces come up just to slow it down. This is a Q-Light OSD running on a Nano. I'll just move that over. So that gives me my on-screen display for my voltage and altitude. Um, I pair up the ESCs for, um, to one power source, and then each one goes in their own channel. So I'm using all these channels. One, uh, I'm using six channels. So one channel goes to the OSD to arm and disarm. It sends the signal to the DJI Vista unit to start recording, go full power, etc. And uh, that's associated with my arm and disarm switch. The other channels are for the different motors and every other servo. In here also, there's a plate right here that is designed for this landing gear. And it goes on the inside and you pass the nylon bolts or whatever bolts you decide to use through it and the holes line up. So it gives you a mounting plate on the inside of the foam to hold that landing gear in. So it's just not going to rip right through. It's kind of like a big washer. And then the same thing for the, the Vista or the run cam link system. This is uh, just a back plate to the bottom mount. So that's the Golden Twin. I hope uh, that answers a lot of questions that might rise and help you to build your own. It's a great, fantastic flying airplane. The other question you might have is where is the CG? And I typically will balance it where the servo comes in on the bottom, on both sides, and just balance it right there. And mine balance is right where I would want it without the battery. So when I put my battery in there, I'm putting my battery right on the CG and um, it works out great. So that's the CG point. Um, other than that, you'll want to do mixing for the motors for ground control. And that's it, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.